just want to say uh, it's an honor to be here. And Jesse Krakow has done an amazing job putting this thing together. Unbelievable. And all the great musicians who've been playing at this thing, fantastic. Don would definitely have approved. There's a really great energy and great versions of the song. So thanks to Jesse for his unstinting and tireless efforts and all the fine musicians who volunteered to play for such a good cause. So, well, I'm going to just do Evening Bell and then let's bring out the guys. All right, but just a few words about it. Uh, this is a piece that uh, Don sent me, and it was one of his famous piano compositions. He had three general ways of composing music. One was to play through compose on the piano, uh, just off the top of his head, just spontaneous improvisations and uh, what might sound like mistakes to some people he would say were deliberate. And he would then <laughs> hand it to you and say, learn this. Okay. So he did this with me and uh, sent me this tape and uh, took me an inordinate amount of time I must have spent a couple of hours every day at six in the morning I get up. It was like my Buddhist discipline or something. And, and I uh, would listen very closely to a cassette of him playing and work out about five seconds of music a day just trying to figure out how to voice these things on guitar. But the main bitch was, you know, I said, Don, you're using ten fingers there. You know, there's only six strings on a guitar. And he'd say, you better find another four. <laughs> So that was part of the fun, <laughs> or the challenging aspect of working with him, which is trying to stretch into you know, impossible realms uh, to realize this music. Another way you would compose was to actually get on the instrument and kind of play it in his style. And the third way was he loved to scat sing you know, or, and whistle. <laughs> And you know, I mean, this would be very. He'd say like, play this on the guitar, and you go, ow, 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 you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and or I'd get phone calls at two in the morning. He'd say, get your tape recorder. We always had to follow him around with little tape recorders, little Sony cassette recorders with the preferred model. And he'd say, okay, get this, man. This is called Melody Arms. And he go. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a melody coming through there, right? But, you know, and we'd say, that, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Learn that. So the reason that most of this music actually sounds so unidiomatic for the instruments that it's performed on and also just, you know, unidiomatic in the world of music is because basically we were mimicking his nervous system, <laughs> trying to recreate every tick and hiccup and as he would lay these parts down. And the way they were assembled, the band worked tirelessly. They should get a lot of credit, all the people who came through the ranks of the magic band. I was in the last edition. Yeah. Uh, but they're such great players because they really were dedicated to, to realizing this. And without them, there wouldn't have been this, uh, you know, I mean, it was definitely driven by Don and it was Don's vision, but it was really realized with the help of all these people. And this yeah. The knowledge was such, because for sure there was not a lot of money. And, uh, well, anyway, I know that, uh, well, he's, uh, he's listening wherever he is, and then I can tell you. So uh, I'm going to play the Evening Bell, which again, after about a month of working on this piece, I recorded a version on a cassette and sent it out to the desert where he was living, and he said, that's pretty good, man, but there's more. I said, there is? He said, oh yeah, of course. Man. Well, I'm going to send you another in a minute. You know, just like, learn that and tack it on to the end of the other thing. And so, I had to glue the things together. You know. Thank you. 
Tom Shad, Robbie Mangano. We have raised $1,500 for our next thing. We can always raise more. Go, when you, Lauren, raise your hand. You still here? No? There she is. Give the lady money. Any kind. Steven? Clifton, ready to rock. Ready. Miss Nona Hendricks, Miss Nina Person, and a special guest, Miss Sophie from the Nowhere Knots. Bring her back.